Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a maintenance job in SSIS, namely the three common tasks of updating statistics, shrinking the database, and backing up the database and doing that job nightly. So the first thing you'll need is this IDE and to get that you're going to have to download it from Microsoft and uh, there's actually two versions of it, uh, SQL Server Data Tools and SQL Server Data Tools with Business Intelligence. So you'll want to download the one with business intelligence. And after you do that, that's about a uh, probably a 7 800 megabyte download. And after you install it, you'll get this IDE which is the business intelligence version for Visual Studio 2012. So let me get started here and create a new project. And I'm going to uh, choose Integration Services Project, which stands for SQL Server Integration Services, or SSIS. And I am going to name it uh, just Maintenance. And I'm going to name the solutions SSIS Concepts. And I'll be uh, putting both this link here and a link to my GitHub account for you to download these projects that I'm working on. So I'm just going to click OK to create the shell project here. And I'm going to create a nightly job. So I am just going to call this nightly maintenance. So I'm going to go down to the toolbox here and pick off the task that I want. So I'm just going to drag it into this area. Make sure you have it on control flow here. Uh, I'm going to click uh, choose shrink database also and update statistics. So the first task I'm going to work on is actually update statistics. So I'm going to double click on that and I don't have any connections so I'm going to click new local server and I have several instances of SQL Server 2008 on here so I'm going to choose um, the appropriate one which is that's the one I want I'm going to leave it to Windows uh, NT authentication so now in the update statistics I'm going to choose my databases and I'm going to choose all the user databases and I'm going to do a full scan so that's okay and I'm going to do the same thing with the backup I'm going to create a full backup because it's a nightly job and I'm going to choose all the databases here and I'm gonna choose to keep my backups for three days and I created a folder on my file system under C DB backups full so what's gonna happen is I'm actually gonna store the full backups in this directory and um, I am gonna store my differential backups in this other directory and it's very important because uh, these full backups and differential backups are going to be managed by SQL Server and because the differential backups depend on a certain full backup you have to know where those full backups are. Um, somebody can't just do a ad hoc full backup and then put it on their you know local desktop and actually have those differential backups know you know what its dependency is in terms of which full backup those differential backups belong to when you actually do the install I mean the uh, restore so it's important to know where your full and differential backups are on the disk um, okay so that's the location I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna do verify and I am actually gonna compress the databases and that looks good so I'm gonna click OK and to shrink the database same thing I'm just gonna choose all my user databases and at this point I'm pretty much done but see if if I don't link these in any particular order it's actually gonna run simultaneously so I do wanna link them 
and I'm, so I'm going to put them in a certain order and when, when I highlight them and I drag the arrow down to connect to the other objects so I've just collect, uh, connected my update statistics to the shrink database and I'm going to do the same to shrink database and backup database and so now they're going to run in this particular order now I don't particularly care whether it succeeds or fails when it moves on to the next step so I'm going to highlight this arrow here double click and I'm going to say just go there go to the next step upon completion and I'm going to do the same with this arrow here so at this point I could actually test all three of these I'm going to go up here and I'm going to start the debugger and you'll notice it's running right now the update statistics and in my folder here you'll see it's creating the backups so that's when I verify that it actually works so at this point I'm done uh, I suppose you could call it coding the maintenance job and it uh, normally I, I would actually create another package here called differential maintenance or uh, daily maintenance um, where I, I do a differential every 15 minutes or every half an hour of uh, particular databases and run it in separate jobs um, so pretty much I'm done here and I've actually demonstrated that it actually works by running it um, the problem here now is that I have SQL Server 2008 so it's actually not gonna be able to run this job here but I'm gonna show you anyway how to schedule it so um, all of these packages work the same you you must have the same version uh, or higher SQL Server to be able to run it but in any case I'm gonna show you how to schedule the job so I'm going to go to where my nightly maintenance DTSX file is and that's the SSIS package. So I'm going to go on to the file system, locate that project. And this is actually my DTSS file. So you'll see it's the DTSX file. I'm going to copy this to a particular location. I'm going to copy it to jobs and to schedule the job I go into SQL Server Management Studio and remember this actually won't work because my nightly job was developed in SQL Server 2012 of uh, Business Intelligence or SSIS 2012 while my database is 2008 but scheduling it nonetheless will be actually the same way so if I go under SQL Server Agent, go to Jobs, Expand, and say New Jobs. And I'm just going to name this Nightly Maintenance. And I'm going to add a step. Step 1. And here I'm actually going to choose SQL Server Integration Services Package and under the source I'm going to say file system this is important that it's actually in the file system and not actually installed in the uh, SQL server so I'm going to point to this job here and I'm just going to click OK so normally if if I had a 2008 Visual Studio version of that SSIS package it will just work you notice it errored here but nonetheless I'll show you how to schedule it so uh, the next step is to actually do the schedule I'm gonna say new schedule schedule reoccurring night uh, daily and I'm gonna schedule it for 3 a.m. every night and I'm gonna click OK and here I'm gonna click OK also so normally this job here is going to run every night uh, at that 3 a.m. time and normally I would actually click on it and say start job at step to test it but I know it's just going to bomb 
because the version is um, actually higher than my SQL Server version. So uh, when you get errors like this, you could actually view the error by looking at the history. And I'm showing you all of this simply, uh, you know, it's good to know sometimes for debugging purposes. Um, so I want to know why it failed and when I read this it does say the version number cannot be greater than the current version number um, which is exactly the issue that I have so but in any case this is how you would do it if your versions were the same and um, thank you for watching